You had mentioned that you use ketamine here for um, uh, for also for for treating depression uh, and anxiety or, or, or whatnot. So I'm, I'm curious, what what kind of indications do you use ketamine for, and then your do, do you use it in conjunction with TMS, and why? So we use ketamine at uh, Redemption Psychiatry. We've been doing it for the past year. Um, we've uh, um, again trying to stay uh, on the cutting edge of things. We found that that the the research is robust enough to say this is worth uh, bringing to our patients. But it really stands to reason that using ketamine, which uh, helps to improve the interconnectivity in the neurons, um, complements in a very uh, positive way complementing the the effect of TMS treatment because we're working on the frequency of the of the overall um, activity of the neurons and so if we can improve the connectivity and we can in, in improve and alter the, uh, the the frequency then we're working on the two main aspects that we need to have a, a good solid communication and so the brain's communication so that it is functioning optimally is, is going to definitely rely on whether it's uh, if it's overactive that we can uh, inhibit that overactivity if it's underactive that we can stimulate it um, but if it's not connected that's a much harder thing to to deal with and so we found that ketamine helps to improve that connection but the long-term results and that's a big thing that I think uh, is really difficult in, in any ketamine clinic is that people they have really great results but then they want to make sure that that maintains and sometimes it can be very difficult to have to come in and get maintenance treatments for ketamine and certainly cost and time and and uh, so if we follow up uh, ketamine infusions or do them simultaneously with uh, with TMS is absolutely the best treatment that we've seen I mean uh, a lot of times talking with patients in order to help them to understand what would be the most optimal for them you know you have to you're giving your personal experience and trying to help them to understand what you see day in and day out the improvements that you see but you can't really communicate that any better than to, than to tell them look if I were in the same situation if I try to picture everything that you're going through and I and use all of my knowledge to say well what would I do for myself what would I what would I prescribe to my my parent, uh, my uh, brother or sister, you know, my child, my wife, and I would say we would do a series of ketamine infusions along with the TMS, and for the best outcome. And uh, I believe that uh, hands down, that is absolutely the most effective. I think that uh, you know, people. If you say people that have all the money. All the all the time in the world can you know no, it's no object. Would you offer them something different? Would you tell them to do anything different? No, I would say you do a series of TMS and ketamine together for the best outcome. Do you do uh, the ketamine treatment the day before they start TMS, or a couple of days, or the week a week before? What you, what's the usual workup? Yeah, one of the best things to do is to start to get a kind of a priming treatment where you start the the ketamine. Uh, a couple days before TMS, start start in with the TMS. Uh, after um, the first week, get another ketamine. Uh, or first couple of days to a week, get another ketamine infusion. And so we should be getting through with the the ketamine infusions within the first uh, three weeks, first half of the TMS, and then uh, finishing up the the last uh, two three weeks of TMS. Do you space the treatments between the ketamine and the TMS treatment so they come in one day and do ketamine and then they come in the next day and do the TMS or you said there's two days? So usually they uh, will we'll do the, the TMS treatment um, uh, a little bit earlier, a little bit before the, the ketamine, get the get the TMS treatment that day and then follow it up and get the a ketamine infusion um, sometimes right after, sometimes a little bit later in the evening.